We are making shrimp cocktail in the style of the Pacific Coast. Not a shrimp cocktail like what you think. I know what you're thinking. This is different. It's like what you find in Acapulco. And it's really like a combination between a shrimp cocktail and a shrimp ceviche. My husband Danny loves this dish because it has a lot of chili and salsa and he's just crazy about it. And since I went through the trouble of going to my fish market and talking to my fishmonger and convincing him on getting me his finest shrimp ever, I'm not gonna mess them up by cooking them too much. You have to be super careful. I have boiling water in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and I'm just going to add the shrimp in here and cook them for one minute because I don't wanna ruin them. I wanna still taste their sweet flavor, a little bit of their briny feel and I want them to be crisp. I don't want them to be rubbery. So in here they go and I'm really gonna watch out for these to be like one minute. I'm gonna cover it, put it in here, and then, you know, different from other shrimp cocktails or shrimp ceviches, this one has a super, super duper chunky salsa. Danny is wild about salsas. I mean, like many Mexicans, it's like salsas run through our veins. They're a big deal, and this one, has the shrimp swimming in a super chunky salsa. So I have like three quarter cups of freshly squeezed lime juice. You guys, fresh squeezed lime juice, it really takes like a second. So I'm going to add onion and tomato and chili, which is like the trio of Mexican cooking and the base of so many salsas. Salsas are so big, so big, so big that Mexicans have turned the word salsa into a verb. Like, I'm gonna salsa that taco. Everything goes in the same mixing bowl. So it's like when you're eating this shrimp cocktail, you don't have to treat it like something precious that has to be precise, it's casual. The shrimp are ready. I'm gonna take them over here. If you have a kind of a pasta pot like this, it's great. Use a colander, a strainer, anything you find. You can just pour them in an ice bath. So I'm just letting them cool in there. And I'm gonna continue with the salsa. So I'm adding some parsley in there. And I'm adding some cilantro. I love mixing herbs. You know, drop parsley, drop some cilantro in there. If you have fresh oregano, great. If not, dried. Here I have some dried. I'm gonna add a little bit of a tomato, just to give it the bite of a tomato, just cause I wanna feel it in the sauce, but I'm gonna be using ketchup. I know what you're thinking. Ketchup in a Mexican ceviche or a Mexican shrimp cocktail. We use ketchup a lot and we don't call it ketchup. Ketchup? What do you say? Ketchup? We call it katsup. Really. We spell it with a C. So I'm adding the tomato in there again. Everything goes in. We're not cooking French food, guys. We're doing Mexican. The seeds have flavor. The skin has flavor. The juices go in with the rest of the ceviche. Okay, so here this goes, and then I'm going to add chiles in here. Now you can choose, you can choose if you wanna add a jalapeño or you wanna use a serrano. I go for serrano chilies because Danny not only loves salsas and chunky salsas, but he loves the heat. I'm gonna add olives that have the pimiento in there. Raw chopped chunks. And then I am adding katsu. I'm adding a cup, just by eye. And then I am adding a tablespoon of, okay, I'm crossing my fingers, Worcestershire. 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 Worcester sauce, that, that's what I would say in Mexico. Pass me the Worcester, okay? This is funny. 
If you go to any Mexican home, I would put my hands on fire that you would find a bottle of Worcester sauce and a bottle of Maggi sauce. They are not native to Mexico, of course, but they really become ingrained in our cooking. And both sauces, they have a different feel to them, but they're both considered by foodies these days to have that fifth taste that they call the umami, which just embodies the sense of savoriness. And they're quite different. They're both fermented sauces of different things. They're both sauces that are meant to just bolster up the flavor, which they really do. Some salt and some pepper, olive oil, and then my shrimp must be cool by now. And they are looking super duper plump. I'm just adding them in here. Super chunky. Mm. Just look at this. I don't know if I can wait for that on me. It's just super delicious and when you go to the beach, when you go to Acapulco, and I went with Dani when we first got married, um, this is what you eat at the beach. So I'm gonna let this cool in the refrigerator. It really does taste better cold, so it's a great excuse to make it ahead of time. My shrimp ceviche has been cooling in the refrigerator, so now it's perfect. Mm, just looking at it. You can eat it with tortilla chips or the saltine crackers. So I'm just gonna put everything in here and ah, uh, you can just taste the beach. I'm telling you, you feel like you're on the beach. So everything in there and all that juice and those super plump, crisp shrimp. And smelling the sauce is driving me crazy. Let me try one. I'm gonna make some slices. There it goes. So there's the shrimp cocktail. 